Hey everyone, thanks for joining another tutorial. So today I'm going to be showing you how to create this like uh, Final Fantasy anime S style tunnel and um, it should be pretty quick should be less than should take you less than 15 minutes So, you know, feel free to get some water get a coffee and let's just dive in <coughs> All right, so let's just dive right on in so pretty much what I do first off <coughs> Is I'll mess with some of the render engine options just turn on certain things like ambient occlusion, bloom, screen trace reflections, motion blur. And I'll mess with the color management a little bit. I'm just going to glance over those things. Now, what I like to do next is I'll bring in a cylinder by pressing Shift A, cylinder, press R, X, 90. That way we're on the Y axis here. And then what I'll do next is I'll mess with the dimensions. And what I'll do with the Z is I'll just go ahead and make it 16. And then we're gonna go into edit mode by pressing tab, select both of the edges of the cylinder and delete the faces, okay? Then what we'll do next, we'll just shade smooth it, but we're gonna go ahead also and add a subdivision surface at two of them. Second, we're gonna go ahead and add a solidify. Solidify, I don't think you need it, but personally, it's kind of cool. Just to have a whole cylinder, you know what I mean? Hold down tilde, enter the top section, press G and Y, and drag it. The second, what I like to do now, create a collection, I'll call this loop. And I'll honestly drag my cylinder off to the left or right. It doesn't matter. As long as it's not in the center. Shift A. Go to collection instance. Loop. While that's still selected, on the top left hand corner on object, you're going to go ahead and set origin, geometry to origin. Press G, Y. And then we're going to move it by holding down control again. Back up here. And then with the loop, you're going to go ahead. We're just going to duplicate it a whole bunch of times next to each other but hold down control so you get it snapping and then just press shift r a hell of a lot of times we're gonna do the same thing but we're just gonna go ahead now and duplicate it oh we zoomed out way too far duplicate it and then bring it down here hold down control so it just locks you want them to interlock and have no drop next let's bring in the camera so i'm going to front view i hold down tilde Press camera. Now, if it's right, hold on tilt it. You'll see that your camera is now inside of a cylinder. Enter wireframe mode. We're just going to select that first one. If I'm right, the camera, I'm going to bring that playhead to zero. Keyframe it on the Y. Then move it all the way to the end, which is 250. Get that 16, which is the aspect, the length of that first cylinder. So now, if you look, we're moving. Ooh, give yourself a pat on the back. That's a pretty big first step. Now, what we're going to do is add a few lights in. Press Shift A, bring point lights in. And we're just going to go ahead and drag those and duplicate them. Maybe just like four of them. So, one more, five. Then what you're gonna do with those lights, select them all, hold up. And then we're gonna go ahead and click and drag and parent them to the camera. So, you're gonna notice now we're moving, nothing is happening, but the lights are staying still with the camera, which is great. So the second thing we need to do now is tinker with the uh, material of the cylinder. So select new. And what we're going to go ahead and do is we're not going to mess with the roughness, but we are going to mess with the sheen. We're just going to crank that, that mess up. We're going to mess with the coat and give it about 0 point around 2 that roughness is going to go to like zero three. We're getting kind of 
kind of custom here, you know. And the next thing, which is probably the most important part about the material, is this little color ramp. Oops, not a mixed color, sorry. Color ramp. Connect that to the metal uh, roughness. New noise. We're not even going to fuck with the color ramp that much. I think I just did that. Okay. Now you see here, things are getting kind of fun. The next thing you're going to do. So we're going to play with the scale, make it around 14. Our detail, we're going to make this around 1. I'm going to make this around 12. And you'll see, now we kind of have this, like, thing going on. You can kind of see some of the starts of this. Next thing you're going to do, if you have the Node Wrangler add-on enabled, which most of you should just enable, it's going to be built in to pretty much the blender and you should just be able to turn it off. No need to download it anywhere. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to start rotating the Z axis. So playhead on zero. In here, right click, insert single keyframe, go to the end, 250, 360, insert that. And you'll see now we're rotating. Everything is rotating. It's looking kind of vibey. Just, okay, I just wanted to make a really quick editor's note. So one of the things, like you guys see this, you want to make it that like anime kind of vibe. Mess with the scale in your mapping on like the X axis. And now you see we get this like really cool dispersion that looks like it's like flowing from a certain direction. And you could like really increase that and then it gets even louder. But anyways, thank you for dropping in. Now what we need to pretty much do is tinker with these lights. These lights are a bit strong. So what I'll do is open up the light. And the first one I think I just kind of like made it very soft. Go ahead and make these all the same color first. The last one is always going to kind of be the brightest. So I'll make the last one like 50 or something. We're just messing with the light levels. And then we'll probably do the same. We'll just kind of like disperse it. So then the second last one will be 30. Oh, well, maybe it'd be like 20. This first one will be like 13 or something. And this one could be maybe like six or what if it's like, I'm just messing around here. We're just, we're just tinkering. Now, what I'd probably do with the camera is just bring it in a little bit. It's 92. Which makes it really, this is a really interesting visual because of the thing in the middle. But that first one, we could just like, I'm bringing it down to like two or something. Doesn't need to be that crazy. And that's pretty much your visual. So, one thing you could do as well, if you don't like the high contrast, you can make like medium contrast. If you want <coughs> the cylinder dots to be a bit smaller or stuff like that, you could honestly, you guys should like play with as much as as much of these like little things as you can. Like, what does it look like when? The roughness is kind of turned up a little bit. Or what does it look like? 
on the scale is now 24. These things just like live a mind on their own. And it's just worth exploring and seeing what that's like. Let me just go ahead and shift A with the scale and then do some UV unwrapping. Okay, now one of the last things that I'll do with you is we'll just go ahead and tinker with the that glare at the end. Viewer, bring that in. And then we'll render one one frame. And then what I like to do, I used to mess around a lot with lens, lens stuff, but there's so many things you could play with. To be frank with you. Um, let's not do the streaks, but let's do, oh, well, let's see what that's like. We're tinkering together. It's looking a bit crazy, but we, if you hold down shift, you can get a, a nice kind of drag. What does the simple stars look like? It's gonna be like stars everywhere. Let's just do fog glow. I don't want to send you off to Neverland. Okay, well, that's pretty much it. Uh, if you want to render it, you go to the output and you can do a PNG sequence or you do F MPEG, which would give you a straight up MP4. You just click render, render animation, and should have your stuff. So thanks for dropping on in. Uh, oh, I'll see you around.